Hello everyone, my name is Mitz. Here I can figure out what I So we last left off with finished talking to Vex Volper, and he revealed some interesting things about... This person we just revealed about Hemlock, apparently just from his own mission, Hemlock is the boogeyman, this elusive figure which he himself like named out loud when he confessed to what happened last time, the la in like the last case when Snow was framed. And if this whole, if he's like telling the truth right here, and literally just that adds up so much with like another piece of evidence from Greason about the, the bee victims, the boogeyman, Hemlock, he's a serial killer and goes after, and his MO is just killing victims ends with a grot wire and leaving a card piece behind. So, hmm. So that means that, like, the the real killer of this entire case right now is the mysterious caller then, right? So we just figure out who they are, then we should all be good and dandy. But how do you prove something like that? I mean, like, we can't really trace some other phone and all that. And also, Vex gave us this, a finger puppet that Boogeyman gave to him. Don't know that that's going to help right now, time being. And before we leave you to your own devices, do you think you deserve your gold sticker now? Ooh, shiny, that for me? This? You want it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, how about that? Their card's right, maybe I'll think about giving you a reward. You got it ready, boy. You say jump, and I say when I get a gold star. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. I thought for sure, I remember, right, like, just after you had the whole interaction, just like something new happens. Oh, well. Oh, well. Just like, I don't deserve the gold star, or something like that, eh. I think that's best remembering it right. So, I think the next thing we have to do is go talk to... Well, try to see if we can speak to Renwick. Where is he? Detention Center. Okay, we got questions. Detention Center visits room. Look who finally made it. Visiting hours are over in 15 minutes, you know. God damn it. The only you waited, that you need to have showed up. All right, then. I suppose I had a good run trying to avoid you. Give me the bad news. You must break it me gently, or not. Oh boy, where do I begin? Oh boy. I guess I'll just give you a rundown. Right, today's investigation. It kind of went like this. Absolutely nothing. R Renwick, are you okay? Ah, oh, sorry, sort of forced a habit. What were you doing? I don't pass out from time to time, the trust gets to me and messes me all up. You've uncovered so much, yet so little. Huh. And you got me into even deeper trouble than before. This is not just dandy. I'm sorry, Run Mike, but the evidence just seems to point towards you, more or less. Yeah. We have the garrot wire that bears your prints. The photograph of the body that shows that the garrot wire was used in Brisbane. Yes, so your fingerprints are on the murder weapon, or at least the attempted murder weapon, so I'm up. Uh, mm hmm? An eyewitness who saw you enter Brisbane's house at midnight, five hours before the crime, and more or less, like, you know, I guess, quote-unquote, saw you leave the house, you know, even has a recording of your voice, so it can only be you, so... Ugh. Who then later saw a man leave the premises who spoke in your voice, with a recording to prove it. Like, literally the only thing you can, like, at this point, the only thing we can really prove, like, clear you of is murder, but you'll be, you'll still be involved with cover-up. For some reason or another. If, like, really, Hemlock and the Boogeyman are the culprit's case, it makes sense why you're being blackmailed and do all this weird, you know, shady shit. And last but not least, a recording of the phone call between Bridget made to the police, which he clearly states that you were his assailant. Renwick, there isn't anything else you've been mean to tell me about, is there? You haven't been holding out on me at all. Why would I do a thing like that? Why would I purposely let trace of a crime scene? Why would I have anything to hide? I don't know. The facts are clear. You were there at Brisbane's house that night, weren't you? It's the only thing that can make sense. There's no use in dying it. Miss Weaver saw you go in with an envelope under your arm. We found the envelope with, like, a, either a smudge of blood or lipstick. I, I'm gonna go blood. <laughs> Then, five hours later, she saw a masked man leave the house with an enigma in their hand. Somebody had greeted her in your voice. So, it had to be you. 
But then, what did you do with the Enigmium? Dr. Smith, why did you go to Brisbane's house in the first place? I knew it, he's saying something. I'm bound to see Cyclock right about now. N nothing again? C come on, why aren't you working? Why won't you show me- Whoops, I dropped it. Uh... It- It broke? No! Wait a minute. That's not right. Only the outside's glowing green, whereas the inside looks like a dull, ordinary rock. Huh. Hold on a moment. Could this be why it wasn't working? The- This is a fake Magatama! The rock probably can paint with green fluorescent paint! And what happened to the real one? I have no idea. What's that you're freaking out over? Uh, oh, nothing. It just dropped something of mine and broke in the floor. Uh oh. That thing. You have some explaining to do. Huh? Did you say something? What? No, I didn't. You did. You said, oh, that thing, as if you knew what the Megatomy was. <laughs> no, no, of course not. It's just that. I remember seeing the chief with something similar. That explains why we saw the light Cyclox then. It was nearby. <laughs> now getting reminded like the last time, like, you know, like that Magatama was taken away from us, that was in uh, the, the third game. Like someone, like a, a, a character stole it from Phoenix and it was left in a different location. And we saw Cyclops even though it wasn't a person. We just saw it nearby. So it's in the Chief's office? Oh boy. Yeah, right. So the Chief has my Magatama, huh? Actually... That would make sense. Yeah. Chief Fur is the only person in this case so far I've seen this, the bear Cyclock. I'm positive he can't be the only one. Okay, my only question is, like, Emma, when was the Magatama swiped? Well, I already know, but I'm going to leave that as a mystery. <laughs> so, I could see his Cyclock, but I couldn't focus on breaking it, because we didn't have it in our hands. Hmm. Could it be that the real Magatama was somewhere nearby? This has, to hap this has happened to me before, actually, so it may just be possible. Mm-hmm. But how do you get it? And how do you even know what it, what it does? Thinking about it now, actually, yeah, what was it? Like, literally, um... Even in, like, world-building stuff, like, the DL6 incident, which is the whole cornerstone of this game series, basically just has the whole entire world think spirit channeling is a sham. So, like, why would anyone think to look at a, you know, a green spirit rock... And you'll think, oh, that's a danger to me, or something like that. Like, it doesn't make sense, really. <sighs> and it was only through the last case of the third game... Uh, that it was all, like, I guess the whole world starts to, like, you know... Think spear channeling is worthwhile again, in a sense. But that was, like, I guess a couple weeks ago? Or, like, technically a month before, you know, this fan game takes place, so... <sighs> My gosh. Before I leave, I wonder if I should show him something. I have one person's opinion on the nature of this evidence. But does that Smith be familiar with it too, I wonder? Are you talking about what we showed Vex before? <gasps> oh, yeah, before that, do you want a gold star? Anything you tell me about this, Detective? No, then. Okay, fine, you won't get the gold star then, you, you star puss. What do you make of this? I got nothing else to- What? Don't tell me you know about Hemlock too. Yes. Wh what? Detective, you wouldn't happen to know who this Hemlock character is, would you? C can't say. He's listening to, to us as we speak. Oh boy. Wait, Volper kept saying the same thing. <laughs> C can't He's listening. He he's listening, watching. He says all. He knows all. He's everywhere, righty boy. I thought he was saying that because he was insane, but this is Smith. He's saying the exact same thing. Just what is going on here? Who is this guy? He wouldn't be the real culprit, would he? No comment. Did you hear me? I said no comment! Visiting hours are now over, gentlemen.
Oh, come on. I, oh, that line said, hear me no comment, I was from the grapevine cell phone at the beginning of this case. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, thank God for that. Okay, so someone really is listening on things. Ah, uh, sorry, Phoenix, you're the man. I haven't got the time to talk to you about that airlock guy. Oh, shoot, if you only arrived ten minutes earlier. But, well, I've got to run. See you tomorrow. Uh, what is going on here? Who knows? Uh, sorry, but the chief doesn't take any more visitors today. But this is important. He, um, might have something in mind. That he might. Uh, hi. Can I have my green space rock back, please? Uh, Chief Freud. Ah, uh, just the man I wanted to see. I've been looking for you, Sonny. You yeah, misplaced something, yes? Quite a while ago, actually. And I forgot to let you know earlier. Tell me, does this little crystal thing belong to you? Th that's my... Yes, Chief Freud, that is mine. But how did my personal property get into your possession? I expect a little more. Gradchen's having your crystal back. What more do you want? Fine. If you must know, that decline of yours dropped it off in my pigeonhole a while back. Renwick gave it... Okay. Well, this mess started letting him in detention. My, my client? You mean Detective Smith was the one who gave my Magatama to you? I had no idea it belonged to anyone, or I had any special use. Wait, then how did you realize it belongs to me, then? I did add that I should hand it back to you, this the earliest opportunity. Okay, that explains that. And since I've been mine like a slate, a, a sieve, I've only just remembered, well, better late than never, N yes? What is going on here? Why did the smith steal my Magatama? Why did he give it to Chief Freud? Why do you want him to give it back to me? Who the hell knows? Why did he replace it with a fake? When did he even get the opportunity to do so? What is life? Uh, a, a, a series of experiences and memories. <laughs> or memories and experiences. Ah, uh, you and the H typed in your magical cr healing crystals. Oh god, please don't lump me in with those people. <laughs> I mean, they look good, but I don't believe in the practicality of crystals. Unless, um, uh, I smash it up into a fine dusty powder, then swallow it wholesale. That's the, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. We're good, my absent mindness, my good man. Here you go. Okay, wow, the real one this time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, now let's see. I'm about to someone replaced my real Magatama with this at some point and shattered it to pieces. Okay, now just just the fact, like, you know, that's on the very last page, that's a sin of itself. It has to always be next to the badge. Always next to the badge. Ugh. Uh, apologies for the confusion, but I really don't understand Smith's motives earlier. He delivered to me with a note saying I should give it back to you with the utmost discretion. Utmost discre- I have no idea why a little crystal like that holds any significance, but it's yours again now. Th thank you, Chief Freud. Well, he remembered sooner. That tiny grill a client of mine. Ugh. Year 14th, 4.12 p.m., Ryan Cole offices. Okay, so, like, that's another layer and a half onto this. Okay, so that means, like, just the fact that, like, the Magatama was, was gone was replaced with a fake one, that means, like, uh, so that means, like, someone knows, like, the whole thing that Phoenix can, like, see into people's, like, you know, hearts and, like, see what people are hiding. Uh, or at least, like, you know, people are purposely trying to hide. Like, if you grill into them and they just don't want to talk. Oh, boy. What a confusing mess of a case this is turning out to be. I'm exhausted just thinking about all these new facts that were brought to light today. Uh Wait, that just also reminds me that's like since we didn't have the cyclock before, Smith could also actually be the killer in this case. Time to grill him when we get into the defendant's lobby next tomorrow. <laughs> a dubious envelope, detected Smith's late night visit to Brisbane, a fake Magatama, Aculius. Stone VD8 evidence, some omnipresent guy called Hemlock who Volper calls the Boogeyman. Heck, Volper himself, not to mention all the evidence pointing towards such a Smith. Ugh, God. What is the point of, like, you know, the missing evidence in this case? Like, why are we, uh... We, we still don't even know what that evidence is, really. Who is clearly hiding so much about the crime, about Hemlock, about the fake Magatama. Oh, I can't even think straight right now. 
I'm in no mood to try. I better start preparing for court tomorrow. Fifteen minutes later. My phone. Oh no, not that guy again. Actually, this might be an opportunity to confirm a hunch I've had ever since my chat with the Vulper. About this is... Hemlock of the Bogeyman. Uh, hello? You really should have listened to your friends, Nikki. My... Friends? Eh, you know, those two jokers you've been chatting to about this and that. <laughs> great guys, great guys. Great sense of humor, the pair of them. Such... Overactive imaginations. How'd you know about that? You didn't spying on me? Whoa, oh, the intuition's wrong with this one. Long story short, yes, I've been spying on you. Didn't you hear what Vulper was saying? I'm everywhere, buddy boy, or as Vulper so eloquently put it. Oh, how'd you wear it again? Oh, yeah. He's everywhere and no one. The wind, the floor, the sky, the currents, the, the shoes. That's exactly what he said. And I mean, exactly. That might as well have been a recording. Well, isn't this the part where you're supposed to be all scared and ask me who I am? Not this time. In fact, I think I've just figured out who you are. Oh, I gotta admit, I much rather prefer being all mysterious and stuff. Why not be an enigmatic nutcase myself? But you know, I, you don't see me keep doing, keep pulling that card. <laughs> I think I can hazard a guess. And if you really have been spying on me, then you'll know what I'm talking about. What I'm about to say. So, it's nice to meet you, Hemlock. Uh-huh. Well, give the man a cookie. Well, well, hopefully it's not oatmeal raisins. Way to go, champ! You've been busy! Well, then again, I already knew that, of course. I'm curious, though. How did you know? Oh, well, look at that. Something you don't know. To just know how to foul on you, he's halfway through shredding. I showed this fragment of Vulpern to the smith, who seemed to recognize your name. Snow? That tea swigging idiot's been keeping tabs on me, has he? Huh? <laughs> Gotta love that guy. So lazy and dumb, yet so... Nah, there's no positive. Oh, uh -huh. Look, what business do you have with me in this case, Hemlock? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just... observing. Really, just pretend I'm not here. Um, well, I'm talking to you on the phone, how can I pretend you're not here? Like this! Hang up! Oh god, he got me. This case is particularly intriguing to me for reasons I'd rather keep to myself. You really want that enigmium. Still don't know why you decide to attack Brisbane and then, like, not keep the Enigmium, in a sense? Oh, this case really does have it all, doesn't it? Aculeus, Vulper, Smithy. And boy, oh boy, is there an interesting story involving those three, let me tell ya. Did that Smith and Aculeus? Are you confirming that? Oops, gotta go! There's a sudden and very convenient reason for me to hang up now. God damn it. But where's the wide champ? Sometimes you have to be more careful who you defend. Believing your client is fine, but surely this lawyer business involves a lot of blind trust. I can't really fault you for that. Believe your client to the bitter end, right? Well, sometimes you need a bit more brains than that. To borrow a recent quote from Smithy, there are some people out there that you just can't trust. Yeah, you. Oh, snap, you're right, Nikki. Okay, see ya. Okay, bye. Oh, okay. So that guy was Hemlock all along. A mobster affiliate with a Kadofian smuggling ring has been observing the case. This file. It states that he's also involved with Aculeus, its remnants. Hmm. That's more than enough proof for me. Aculeus is involved somehow. What exactly is Hemlock's business in this case? How is he being so watchful? What does Aculeus have to do with any of this? And most of all, who are you, Hemlock? Huh. Oh god. <laughs> I don't want any Girl Scout cookies! That's for me to know, and for you to never find out. Okay, you bugged everywhere then. <laughs> Wait. I just realized the vacations, I'm uh... He just, he asked us, like, how he knows what, like, the name Hemlock. And we showed a newspaper scrap, and then... 
So he doesn't have video cameras, but he has he has li- like listening bugs, like a wiretap or something like that, uh, in discrete locations. So, hmm. So he's nothing video wise, but audio wise. Oh boy, yes. Well, back here we are. We didn't get a chance to talk to Runwick. Oh boy. Court is now in session for the trial of Smith. Uh, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Yeah, after everything that's happened yesterday, this is just gonna be a more confusing mess. What are we? What are we gonna continue to prove here exactly? Did you? Did you find anything new besides the envelope? Did you find a card piece? As is the prosecution. Hmm, are you okay, Mr. Wright? You seem a little green around the, the gills today. Wait, I have gills? I'm green? But I thought I was purely blue! I need to put your figure away, you. I think I can show you as to why that may be, Your Honor. Oh, you're referring to yesterday's findings, yes? Oh boy. Where will my surgeries give us your report? I want to snow to search the defendant's apartment for the missing nigmium. The police and I took a fine tooth comb to the crime scene one last time, and we found shit! <laughs> Hmm, a fine tooth comb, you say? So like just like my beard has been needing lately. Then why don't you go do that? Self care. From our efforts, we uncovered a few interesting new finds. First of all, a trace of the victim's blood was found in a can at the scene. A small trace, which doesn't entirely make too much sense. <gasps> and it reminds me, just going through it through the court record earlier, there's also this. No, not that. This. Found the arm that's of the crime scene, the interior is completely wretched blood. But then we found that the, the coat was drenched over the sofa couch, yet Brisbane's body was, you know, lying on the ground next to the coffee table with the telephone. So, uh. It's weird. Oh, but I was under the impression that victim did bleed from the assault. True, but what you may ask yourself is, how the blood this blood didn't even get inside the cabinet? That cabinet bears no other trace of blood, and as such was closed at the time of the crime. I see. This sounds somewhat contradictory. So, why was the cabinet open? Didn't even look like there was anything in the cabinet, too, so... Uh... It's... It's... The, the cabinet's there for decoration! Oh, Brisbane, you scamp! You lo sure do love your interior decorating. Turn the back of the cube, mystery. We got a lot of your kind to get through today. Too many. The next item I have here is this empty envelope. A large blood stain on the edge. On the edge. Eh. I'm assuming it's Brisbane's blood. It was covered from beneath, behind, beneath the cushions of the sofa, where it had been hastily hidden. Its contacts over were not recovered from the scene, and as such remain unknown. The police don't notice this envelope the first time around? Apparently not, Your Honor. I see. I can't say I blame them, actually. Why not, Why just the other day I lost my dentist between the cushions of my couch? Um... This is coming from the same person who apparently had, like, you know, lost their dentures, but it was in, the, in their mouth all along. That took me the whole day to find them. I thought I'd never be able to speak properly again. Heh. <laughs> I'm glad you're on our understand the situation. Shame. Without dentures, the judge would have found it difficult to pronounce my client guilty. And also not guilty, so I'm, uh, uh, pros and cons, part and parcel. With all the run luck. And last but not least, I have this recording. Oh, yay. That's the recording that the snow showed me yesterday. Figures are show up now. A recording? Of what, pray tell? The calls received by the emergency services are frequently monitored and oft times recorded. And fortunately, this was one such call. If the court would care to listen to this tape, its relevance will become crystal clear. Oh boy. Very well. Take it away, Mr. Edgeworth. Jazz hands. Nine one one. Nine one one. Emergency services. How may I help you? Ugh. Ambulance. I'll send a warrant to you right away, sir. What happened? Can you speak? D dying. It was him. Who are you talking about, sir? He d did th this to me. Renwick Smith did it. Oh my. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not good. That was Brisbane, Mr. Brisbane's voice, and he managed to identify his assailant before passing out. Yes, this is how the defendant's guilt came to question, led defense for to his arrest. But for inspection of the scene, this was confirmed. Do you see now, right? Do you now realize that there can be no excuse this amount of evidence against the defendant? Uh, no. 
He's probably right. Mr. Smith is still hiding too much for his own good. It, all this evidence. Oh boy. Oh, we, we didn't even have that in the court before? Well, I guess, like, just notice to listen to it, not have it. Oh uh, boy. Oh boy. No, no, let's settle down for a moment. Mr. Wright, we still have yet to see your findings from yesterday. Uh, my findings? Right. What findings? Um, I talked to a mysterious guy on the phone. Oh, really? Can you show us, like, can you give us a recording of your phone call with him? No. Get out of here, Mr. Wright. Oh, God. There's nothing I found that hasn't already been presented by Edgeworth. Oh, wait, I do have something. I think. Your Honor, I don't have a lot to show for my client's innocence right now, I'll admit. And most of yesterday's findings have already been presented to the court by the prosecution. I wouldn't call this relevant in evidence per se. But what I did find was this. Oh, that? Huh. Hmm. And what is that, Mr. Wright? As I painted to Snow a visit to report the findings from the crime scene, he was in the middle of shredding some old files when this, when this one got caught in his paper shredder. Well, let me see that for a second. Hemlock. Well, we, at least we know that Hemlock likes red shirts, okay? <laughs> that, that also means that guy from, the, like, in the very big opening of, like, you know, Turned by the Snow. The guy with the puppets. That's, that was him. Huh. Who is this Hemlock fellow mentioned here? Now that's the question. Okay. I forget my closed mindedness, but I fail to see the relevance of this file to the case at hand. Yeah, I don't blame you. Do you have some way of proving that this Hemlock character is worth pursuing? This is a game if I ever saw one, but I know Hemlock's behind all this somehow. It can't be contacting me, and Mr. might ever move for no good reason. Hmm. Somebody claiming to be this man has been contacting me by my phone throughout the case. He claims I've been observing our case and the happenings of these investigations and trials. He's even the one who brought the attack in Brisbane to my attention. I hardly think he's unrelated. And we have only your word for that, I suppose? Oh, that's right. Hemlock's calls don't log themselves on my phone for some odd reason. Hmm. Your Honor, I think we should return to the trial. Hmm. Yes, I quite agree, Mr. Edgeworth. Even if it's nothing, at least we brought to your attention. Thank you for presenting this thing to the court, Mr. Wright. Well, it, it, it's, 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 it's the lead, okay? Don't be mean. I really don't see any reason to pursue this matter further with any real proof. <sighs> now then, does the prosecution have any... Oh, wait, Your Honor? Yes, what is it now? This evidence has relevance, and I can prove it. We can. Hmm, can you now? Intriguing. Miss Rogers, what say you? Very well, right? I will hear you out. If you truly believe your evidence is valid to our case, then by all means explain yourself. I might not know enough about Hemlock to start bringing him into this case. I know someone who might. Emphasis heavily on might. Might. Very well. We should call somebody to the stand. Somebody who might know a little more on the Hemlock in this file. Perhaps. Uh. I can't say that I'm convinced by your obvious lack of certainty. Okay, so just know how you're learning it, there's only two different options, right? Nevertheless, let's hear your answer, Mr. Wright. Who is this person we should hear from regarding this file? Are we... I don't think everyone's going to take kindly to Volper since he's insane. How about, uh, Defendant Time? Let's go. We're waiting. Huh? Uh, but I just gave you my answer, Your Honor. Oh, God. Okay. Wait, so then... Hmm. So must be someone else? We, are we literally doing Volper? Your response was quiet and makes I barely heard you myself, right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Mr. Wright, I won't condone your stalling any further. If you have an answer, stand up straight and speak clearly. Whoops, that's a little too hasty back there. I think, okay, who might know a thing or two about Hemlock in this file? Well, if we're not, we can't use a Volper, then... Hmm. Well, I don't know if they knew Hemlock entirely themselves, but, like, the file itself, Snow said that the Chief wanted to, you know, shred them all. Where did I find this file again? Oh, we, oh we're going to Snow, okay then. Wait, Snow or the Chief? Like a certainty. Wait, so it's Snow or the Chief? Okay, so since you said, where did I find this file, that means we had to ask Snow then? Okay. 
I don't know if I would pinpoint him as someone who, you know, knows Hemlock at this point, but okay. It only makes sense for us to hear from the owner of the file, the person who was in the middle of shutting it to begin with. Detective Robert Snow. The detective? As I said earlier, Honor, Detective Snow was in the middle of shredding some files. It's a long shot, but he may know more about this particular file. I don't, but, but I don't see how exactly, like, you know, that that's proof that, you know, it's relevance, but okay. Defense request is granted. May let's see to it that Detective Snow is brought to the stand. I can't afford to go off, be going off on a tangent now. Well, uh, apparently I like to do that on several, numerous occasions, so I'm, uh, uh have fun with that. Is the only lead I have to send somebody else committing the crimes I'd study Smith? Hemlock has to be involved in this case. It just had to prove it. Hmm. Hi, Snow. Oh, there you're a detective? Ah, uh, I think we'll just leave us here. We'll just leave us Snow's, um, uh, ramblings on about catastrophic successes, and I'm, uh, drinking gash dink tea in a coffee mug of all things to some other, to the next time. Oh, boy. So, the co mysterious caller definitely is Hemlock, the boogeyman. And just from, like, like with little contact we have with Greason, that means Hemlock is the true killer behind this case. Well, that's not, that doesn't go exactly against all the other evidence pointing towards Renwick. We don't even really have any direct proof of it, so uh, all we can really go is circumstantial evidence or, like, you know, roundabout methods. We don't have any direct, conclusive things right now. It's a matter of just finding... How can you prove, like, you know, various different recordings, while well, even the victim himself, like, calling the police and saying, you know, Renwick's name? Like, if Renwick is, in fact, you know, not the killer, then... Huh. Just, okay, that's a tall order to make. And, oh boy, trying to start stacking that order list into a big old metal spike like a restaurant. Oh boy. Let's hope we can just reassemble that guy that's sandwich order next time. So... What a fun time watching Zion playing this. See you next time, the time may be, and I'll hope you have a fantastic day.